Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. What's that uh, spot bot? Cyprus. Mm hmm. You say it's unspottable. Yeah, we got a guy just perfect for the job. We'll get him coming over right away. Call that spot bot. Yes, yeah, buddy. Got some work. Copy that, I'm ready to roll. Going now. Morning everybody. Today, going to Bonneville. I think we're just taking a tank to act as fire water. Who knows? I'm thinking fire water. I always think fire water when you gotta take a take a 400 to like a shop or something, because people need to have a certain amount of waters when they're off line. But I don't think that's the case with this one. But I'm thinking that. We are just going to Clean Harbor's yard in Bonneville. It's what I've been told, but there's also a camp that Clean Harbor's has a couple blocks. Well, they're, they're within Bonneville, or on the fringes of Bonneville anyways, so. Hopefully I get the right one. And, uh, the boss is, well, you can't see it. I fired up the sow for uh, dispatcher. He's gonna come over and lay that tank down for me because I already got my lines at the back, so I'm like I could probably manage and I could have just stuffed it on. I'd rather show up with a stuffed on tank than a sucked on tank, it's just less work, but it does make it a touch higher, but today it won't be an issue the way we're going. So, and we got like another 15 minutes 20 minutes before they open the gate over there. It's just across the street here at Novaman. And we'll grab that tank and head her to Bonneville. It's been a long time since I've been to Bonneville. Years and years and years. Stay tuned.
yesterday, no wind today, full wind coming straight out of the north. It looks like a bit of snow might be coming this way. It's chilly out in the wind. I was like, man, I had to put my toque on. I'm so tired of this Alberta up and down weather. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Cold, cold, hot. All right, well, that means that's a headwind because I'd be going mostly that way for about two and a half hours, three hours, probably by the time I'm done dealing with the wind. And then I got an hour east in a bit. Nice to have a guest appearance from Unit 602, the big sow, tipping one little tiny tank. Dotted all the eyes, crossed my T's. Got two self ways to go by, but it's cold today. Probably be fine. Famous last words, let's go. Another half 
power, yeah. Plus navigate through town, so we'll probably be like 45 minutes. We'll probably be an hour late. Huh, that's what you get. Wind, my orange parachute out back, and 450 horsepower. Reminds me of driving four and quarter days, pulling tanks. Except for I got an 18 speed, instead of a 10 and a 4. Well, continue snoozing on, I'll wake you up when I get there.
245, 215. It's a lot of driving just for half hour work, which would have been even quicker if I was didn't like take a tour of the yard first, but whatever. Turn that guy on. Looking to get in another gonna try to shoot for the GoPro 9 with that got that red back over here and some incoming money I'm just gonna put a new roof on my house that was expensive I'm tapped plus my pickup needs like $2,700 worth of work wheel bearings tie rods upper lower ball joints wheel alignment Oh, well, it's got 160, 63,000 kilometers on that Ram I got, which it had a short block at 90,000, so there's not that much on it for mileage, and I don't, like I said, I use it to go get firewood, and we take it camping once in a while, <laughs> the box is starting to rust out on it pretty bad. Anybody who owns a Dodge knows the struggles, Gen 3, it, like all the Dodges. Didn't notice it too bad on anything like Gen 4, Gen 5. Too new to tell, but shit. My truck was in real good shape when I bought it, and then it just started bubbling. Wheel wells, I'm like, damn it. Try to prevent it. No. Now it's like pretty rotten. I got the skills to fix it, I just I ain't doing it outside. I think I might. I'm gonna weigh it justice the weight of buying a new truck. I think box sides are about a thousand bucks a side ish in there, and that's not too bad to do those. Spot welds, panel glue, some welding, or I just sandblast the rod. Uh, you can do just above the wheel well and patch it in, which isn't too bad, but it requires a lot of welding, which no matter how you do it, Tack, 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 heat. If you blow on it with compressed air and stuff and just kind of slowly work at it, it uh, it makes a big warp because it sucks in where the heat from when you weld it. So I don't even know why I'm going off on my Dodge, but. <laughs> back to town, or maybe not. I'll drive back to town. You guys just carry on with the rest of your day. I'm sure you got something else better to do than watch me drive back to town. I gotta get home before it gets too dark. Driving the old Volkswagen today and the headlights suck in the dark. So as long as I'm home before 9, which I should be, it is 2.30, lots of time. Well, like always, thanks for watching. It's one of those UFO carriers again. How did someone I was watching a YouTube channel, something somewhere about something trucks, and they had a coil rolls like that too on. We usually carry two per truck on a highway back and forth when they're doing long distance travels. We'll have two coils, and they're angled just right so they're at the maximum width you can get away without having a pilot car, do you believe? Except for we don't cover as ours here, but I've seen somewhere, it must have been somewhere in Europe, they covered them with the white plastic and they look like white saucers. And um, Passing motorists took a video and was like, oh, what are those? Flying saucers? No, oh, what are those? I read the comments and it was just like, they're coils, short coil. I don't know what exactly they're for, but. <sighs> been a while since I've been to Bonneville. It'll be like seven, eight years. Not much has changed. This is like oil mecca this way. So Saskatchewan border is only like an hour, if that, that way to the east. And then there's a lot of uh, multi-pad steam. They're hor yeah, horizontal wells. You used to have slant rigs out here all the time. And that was pretty cool don't see slant rigs very often. There's one at Precision Drilling Yard in Red Deer that I see every day because I drive to work past it. But 
We used to do lots of work out here. It used to be quite the busy area. Alright. Well, I already said it, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Nothing for tomorrow, so far. You probably heard that. Or maybe you didn't, because it was on that GoPro. And it's a... It sounds pretty muffled, but... Looking to get a new one. Alright, see you guys later. Front start. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.